So here we have Ross Clements, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you are how old? Fifteen. Fifteen. Had to think about that a little yeah. bit, right? <laughs> well, you're growing fast, so you know the, the time goes by. So you have here uh, an airplane I was kind of interested in, and it has a special type of engine. So how is this engine powered? Um, it's powered by compressed CO2 from a standard 12 gram Crossman pellet gun uh, CO2 cartridge. Compressed uh, CO2, so that's like, you know... It's about a thousand PSI. So it's like a gas-powered kind of thing, is that what, or...? At the high pressures, it's liquid. Yeah. Um, which, roughly a thousand PSI just depends on how much there's left in ambient air temperature and all that good stuff. Okay, yeah, and we saw it flying earlier today, and it was actually pretty slick. It's pretty smooth, so yeah. there's there's no wobble at all. That thing is just uh, as smooth as can be. Yeah, it has a very slight vibration, uh, but it's not really noticeable. So basically, you charge it up by using that compressed CO2, and you fill in the little chamber here? Yeah, so you've got the tank and the tubing that runs into the engine. It's 2.6 cubic millimeters displacement, so it's like the second smallest um, CO2 motor ever commercially produced. Okay, and you charge it up by pushing that on there, huh? Yep. So depending if I fill it like this, here, see if I can, that'll just fill the tank with air so the motor's not going to run for very long. Um, but if we tip it upside down, gas, or the liquid comes to the bottom so you can really fill it up. And it basically fills almost instantly. Just holding it for a little bit makes me feel better. Okay, that's um, cool. You want to show us how to fire that up? I mean, you don't. Have, I mean, you don't have to fly it, but if you want to fly it, you can fly so it. I just want to see this thing run. You just take it and get to the end, and if I can hit it like that. And you can stop it. And That's cool because you can't even see the prop spinning around. <laughs> no, it's ridiculously fast. Now that prop's made out of wood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, laminated Czechoslovakian, I think. Um, so. Uh, master craftsmanship as per usual but yeah it's it's fun um, I think has the motor been changed it's, okay it just felt like a lot of thrust oh let's play it it doesn't take much persuasion now once it's up in the air how long does that co2 last um that last flight was well it depends on based on whether you put liquid in versus gas in right yeah, yeah. so this will be a liquid flight uh oh there we go. Sometimes you can get junk when it seals back up, so it's always something to watch out for. But yeah, that's, you gotta start it, give it a flick. That is awesome. I think it's been turned up. Turned up as in speed wise? Yep. Oh, okay. You can adjust the actual speed of the, the, the prop based yep. on uh, how do you do that? You twist the cylinder in and out, it's threaded to the crankcase. And it basically just change the timing, like when it uh, the valve opens um, and for how long. Okay, so that regulates right basically how much flow goes through. To, yeah, to each time the, the engine fl or fires, or I guess not fires, but <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there's no firing. Really right? <laughs> yeah, what is the right term for that? That's funny. That thing is just smooth. Yeah, it definitely got turned up from the last one. So normally it would just fly a little bit slower? Well, normally it just wouldn't climb as high. Since it runs hard, it, or it had a lot of throttle. It <laughs> used the CO2 faster. Um, so normally I'd turn it down and just let it cruise around like 20 feet or so and it'll fly longer. Okay. But it's, it's starting to come down slowly, but it is coming down. So how when did you build this? How long have you had it? Um, it's been a penny plane that was really built too lightly. Um, it's been sitting in a box for the past couple of years. Um, and about 30 minutes before I was going indoor flying, I realized I didn't really have that much to flying, so I made the little power pod with the engine on it, and I've got a couple other models that it'll go on and I can fly with, which... So this is a mod penny plane, basically. <laughs> yeah, flying surfaces of a penny plane and a smaller piece of lodge, you know, rubber motors, so it doesn't have to be so bulky. That is pretty cool. I, I didn't think it would get so high. Now that, that'll stay up there for a couple, what, how many minutes? Five minutes? More? Yeah. Yeah, the prop just stopped. You can see, so now it's gliding down. 
out of CO2. So. Oh, yeah. That means basically there was too much throttle. So. At some point, I'll have to go with it. Steven. Pick it out of the sky. That's right, we'll let you grab it. way cool. Surprisingly well. Yeah, I love it. The amount of effort put in making the whole model. Definitely a fun project. <laughs> well, Ross, thank you very much. Yep. We'll catch you next thank time. You. Yeah.